Welcome back to my garage. Just a quick one today. The Dino Shield, the R Dino, uh, Arduino Shield uh, thing, that's happening. There's been a lot of interest in the comments on my previous videos and on Facebook and Instagram. So uh, a lot of people contacting me saying they want the unit. So yeah, that's happening. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think this shield should cost. I'm not quite sure. I have to do uh, add up the cost of all the components and uh, shipping and uh, and the PCB itself and uh, all that stuff. I'll definitely keep it as uh, affordable as possible. Though I do want to make a little bit of it myself to support the stuff I'm doing out here. So, uh, but it won't be expensive at all. There's a few small changes I'm going to do, basically uh, rearranging some stuff. There's one big change and that's the uh, engine RPM sensor. I'm going to switch out that circuit for a different circuit. There's a lot of ways you can uh, detect engine RPM. You can do as I do now with the uh, capacitive clamp. It works uh, most of the time, but on some bikes it doesn't work at all. Some bikes there's a lot of uh, annoying spikes that's ruining the signal. And on some bikes there's even enough spikes to reboot the computer. You can use a whole sensor and attach a magnet or a piece of ferrous metal to a, a rotating part. But this might be tricky. Uh, you'll have to maybe remove some covers or and you have to attach that magnet. You could use an uh, optical sensor to detect a reflective piece of tape on something. That's maybe better, uh, easier, faster than the whole sensor uh, deal. Both ways you will have to mount that sensor in a kind of a precise way. You could use a neon tube and a photo transistor or photo diode, attach that to the spark plug uh, wire with uh, capacitive coupling. But with the long wires going to that photo transistor or a photo diode from the Arduino, that could become some kind of uh, antenna and pick up noise. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a neon tube attached to the spark plug lead with capacitive coupling, fiber optic cable from that tube to the Arduino or the shield and have the photo transistor on the shield. And in that way, I have a lot of isolation, meters of isolation. So I think that could be a perfect solution. Universal should work on any spark uh, ignition system and any bike, and it should not pick up any spikes. Oh, forgot to mention, I managed to dislocate my big toe yesterday, playing with my son and jumping off stuff. Don't know how it happened, but it did pop out of place and uh, I had to go to the doctor and get it pulled back into position. Wasn't that bad uh, pain-wise, was kind of pain painful trying to pull it uh, back in place. Everything is good, uh, I'm recovering. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, please subscribe, see you next time.